welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And welcome back to week 50 for my wrap up. I'm very excited that I have almost completed a whole year of this. I've been having a lot of fun getting to do these like weekly updates. So gonna continue jumping right in with my reading wrap up. This week I finished The Lost Plot by Genevieve Cogman. This is book number four in the Invisible Library series where we are following Irene who is a librarian and in this series the Invisible Library exists between worlds. The librarians go out to alternate worlds and get unique books that then attach that the library to that world and help strengthen things. On the extreme sides, we have Fae, who are more magic-based, and they're, the Fae end up embodying stories. And on the other extreme, we have dragons, who are very rules-oriented and like order. So book four is dealing with dragon politics. The library does everything it can to be neutral. It doesn't cater to the Fae, it doesn't cater to dragons. It is neutral, an entity that lets them just do their thing and tries to work around them. So when a rumor comes that a librarian has been bought by a dragon to help him in a challenge, Irene and Kai are sent to investigate to make sure that this doesn't one, that the rumor isn't true, and two, that then this doesn't backfire on the library and cause chaos and war. And this was a lot of fun. Definitely get to see Irene and Kai and their relationship develop and grow as they are solving issues. I can't say too much more because this is book four, but I'm really enjoying this series. I then picked up Ocean's Echo by Everina Maxwell and I'm a few chapters into this one. I know that this was not originally what I was planning to pick up this week, but it just felt right. It's been sitting there looking at me for a while and it just wasn't in the mood. And then funny enough, I finished Winter's Orbit, which is set in the same universe as this, last December. It ended up being like a five-star read right at the very end of the year. So it seems fitting that I am in the mood for this one. This is not set in the same area as the first one. So when I say it's the same universe, the resolution is a galactic universe that is connected by gates. And so that is the connected universe, but this is set in a different government area behind another gate. So I don't think that we're going to see characters from the first book, or if we do, they're going to be very tangential. Definitely not where we are right now, but it's interesting to see a completely different society and how they are operating versus the book from Winner's Orbit. And I am enjoying the interactions. The two main characters have just now met and the tension has ramped up. So now there are two weeks left in December and there's quite a bit of reading I still want to get done. But there are three main focuses. One of those main focuses is Echoes of Another Earth by J. Daniel Layfield, one of the books for the self-published science fiction contest. Another priority is Babel by R.F. Kuang. And then I really, really want to get read in the next few weeks, Bindlepunk Bruja by Desideria Mesa. I know that this is like a historical fantasy set in Kansas City, and I live about an hour outside of there. And I think it'd be really fun to read it around this time because my sister's going to be in town visiting the, these next two weeks. So I'm going to be going back and forth to Kansas City more. I, I think that would just make it like a fun kind of vlog experience reading this and then possibly seeing things around Kansas City at the same time. Th that's why it is on my radar. I know my Goodreads goal is saying that I, I'm at 88 books. And what that does not include is the single short stories. So on my call pile, it says I have passed my 100 goal. And I do count the like the short single short stories towards my reading goal. So I'm not panicking that my Goodreads says that I'm behind because in reality, I'm not. Hopefully I can get these four books read in the next two weeks. Then for my writing wrap up, I did not write. 
at all this week. I am still going through what I want my writing goals to be, at least for this first quarter. I know I want to do more planning around writing. Also, in the next two weeks, I am going to be moving my office, where I am now, to a different room and then resetting it up. And so that's kind of where my brain space has been occupied during the day is how I'm going to set that up because also it's how I'm going to set up my writing area to make it more productive for me. For other media, I've been catching up on the Writing Excuses podcast. I haven't been listening for the past few weeks, so just catching up on what they've been talking about and a lot of what they are. So right now, like they're focused on a lot on bodies and then also disabilities and how when you write about bodies and disabilities and people who are not like you, you really need to do your research and use sensitivity readers, all things I know, but it's nice to have that reaffirmed. And they've been doing different episodes where bodies and technology, bodies and language, so then how you talk about disabilities or with the technology what technology do people use? Is that to make their life better? Or is that to make it so then they can operate in an ableist society? Fascinating things for me. And then that has been my week 50. Pretty straightforward. I'm looking forward to being off next week. Again, I think that will help me read more too. Do you have any big plans for these last two weeks of December? Please let me know down below. Thank you and have a great day.